Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. This time I want to use this um, rectangular mold again and the mold is from Molds and Shapes. And I'm pouring here with the Art Pro Resin from the Resin Pro Company from Italy. And yeah, it's the resin I first started and I'm using it now for my tray. And I want to pour like in rainbow colors, so let's wait and see how it's gonna go. But while I'm preparing my clear resin, I'm just um, using here the heat gun. Please always be careful using the heat gun. I just want to thank you all that I achieved the 6,000 followers. I'm, I'm really so amazed because when I started my resin journey, I really, I had no confidence and I thought, oh my God, I will never achieve anything. And there are now so many nice followers. And yeah, I love the conversations I have um, when people are commenting or, or when you are commenting and it's, it's amazing. I'm just very pleased about it and very thankful. So, but coming back to my pour, I mixed my resin with some resin inks and I'm starting with a red color. This is the outside. Pouring on top of the clear resin. Next color is going to be an orange tone, but before I just use what's still left in my cup so that the last line is a little bit thicker. So bear with me. <laughs> That's the orange, orange. I'm always giving it a quick um, torch with my little torch so that I pop the bubbles from stirring. And this is my second line. Then the next color is a yellow tone. Like I said, I'm using resin inks here. Next color is going to be the green. They're all transparent, those colors. And you will see later because on top I'm going to pour a rectangular spiral in white. But we come to this later. So now the green. Actually, I did this pour already... Um, a few days ago, I mean another pour, but the same sort of pour. But I had an error in my um, video, so I could not work on the video. I could not prepare a YouTube video. So I had to pour again and film it. And <laughs> I was so nervous because the first outcome was already very, very beautiful. So it's always a challenge to achieve the same um, result again but I wanted to show it to you so meanwhile I put a blue and a sort of indigo blue and now as a last color a purple color so this is my colored or colors layered and I'm just giving it a quick torch. Please always be careful using the torch not to burn your resin, not to burn your mold. And especially when you work with resin inks, um, be careful that you only torch after a while. Not that there's maybe still some alcohol or whatsoever and you burn your resin. It's no, uh, it's not worth it. So. This is now my white mix and the white is mixed like I always do for the flowers. 
with some angel white pigment paste and the interference gold from Laura's Art Corner. I will link Laura in my description box and there's a promo code PT10. Just check it out if you want. There's also an email address of Laura, so if you want to contact her, just contact her. So this um, little cup is empty. I put it into two little cup, my white, because if the cup is too full, you have not much control to make your pattern. And I also have to say the rectangular mold is from Molds and Shapes. Please check them out. At the moment, they are in the middle of the winter sale. So it's from today till tomorrow the 8th. So just check them out because they give 15, 1, 5% discount on every purchase order. So just have a look. I think it's well worth it. They also have lots of new molds and it's very exciting. So this is my rectangular spiral done. A quick torch again. And then I'm using my dotting tool. And I'm starting swirling. And I'm doing the swirl very similar to Sherry from Sherry's Imagination. Please check her last video. It's awesome. And I'm not as perfect as she is, but I loved it so much. And I had straight away the idea of this tray. So I thought this is a magical um, idea. But as I say, please check Cherry out because she does. Yeah, her swirls are a legend. <laughs> they are wonderful. So, this is now my swirl done, and I love the colors. Look at that. It's a really happy rainbow tray so far already from this side. And I wonder how much the colors will be moving. I'm now taking some glass bits, some purple glass bits for my center bit, where it's still clear. And these glass bits I'll put into a cup. I do this off camera so you don't see what I'm doing, but you see it now that I'm pouring them straight out of the cup, trying to be very carefully and then just pour in the clear sections. Look at that. I think it's matching because, you know, the last color was a purple and I thought, hang on, I have still the purple glass stones and it's matching very well. And now I'm trying to put them a little bit down so they are not hanging on top. My resin was already thickening up because I also stirred the Art Pro resin in a warm water bath and let it set a little bit and then I started pouring my colors but look at that this is the close-up just after the pour or maybe five minutes later and the resin is really moving and working and I love the pattern I love the colors it's a very bright and happy dish especially you know with these gray days over here, we had a lot of rain, a lot of gray days, and it's really brightening the day, I think. However, I'm curious how, yeah, how the result's gonna be. And this is now the next day, time for demolding, and let's have a look. And yeah, look at that. Look at these colors. I'm really in love with this. And I love it that the center is very clear. It gives the whole piece a lot of depth. 
it's still a tiny bit bendy, but I just couldn't wait till demolding because, yeah, look at that. I'm so happy with the result. And now I'm showing you the end result, how I'm, yeah, with, with a better view. Sorry for the light, but it was already evening. I'm just so happy with how it turned out and it's very, very wonderful. With this, I love and leave you. I want to thank you again for subscribing to my channel. I'm very, very happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.